Hello PI4 Dynamics friends. This video is all about customer using finance and operations. Last year in October, Microsoft announced deprecation of export to data lake. What is export to data lake? This is an ETL feature within finance and operations, which enables exporting data into CSV file. We take this CSV file in data warehousing and create a data warehouse and semantic layer for analytics. Now, the expiration date is approaching. It's going to be in November this year. And bf Dynamics has a solution for existing customers and for new customers already ready. So in the following video, you will be familiarized what steps you need to do to migrate your existing solution that is based on export data lake to link to Dataverse. We are going to care about first our existing customers and then, of course, invite also new customers to be a for Dynamics group. So here we have a previous and future architecture. So currently, uh, you are using BF for Dynamics desktop and the data are coming from finance and operation. Directly there is an extension, export data lake uh, installed in finance and operation and this is provided tables in a CSV format in a storage account. This service is going to be deprecated in November and we are going to have choices to replace it with other extraction of the data. For existing clients, we are still going to suggest to go for a desktop version because this will be least uh, different in terms of data warehouse compared to the SaaS version that we are also developing for a year. So the desktop version that will support the new interface will be based on Synapse Link. This is the interface, a part of the Dataverse interface, and Dataverse is a database in Power Platform. So you set up Synapse Link in Power Platform, you select tables, which are then exported into CSV format in storage account. So here you would say, what the heck is different? Well, everything is different because the CSV files here are totally different than the CSV file that we are currently using. And because of the changes, we have to change the ETL process. As a tool for ETL, we are using the same Synapse Serverless Engine, very, very performant, very affordable for the what it provides that injects data into data warehouse. So ideally, you would say the data warehouse is the same. And we could say, yes, it's almost the same, but because of the structures in Synapse Link in the Dataverse are not exactly the same, like global dimensions, some other tables are in some other tables. So there are also some changes in data warehouse required. We know which these are, and we are going to implement and test these changes properly. So this is the suggested way so that we can go from export to data lake to Synapse link. There will be additional cost of export because this refresh can be set up from 15 minutes to 24 hours. And, uh, but I believe it will not be material for most customers. The more cost is going to happen if the CSV file that are provided with Synapse link are further transformed with Spark Pool engine so that you start a project as a SQL endpoint that is supported with Delta Parquet format file, but you actually see a SQL endpoint, it behaves like a SQL table or any table that is exposed, it's here. So you can use it for Power BI project. And the third option is link to fabric, where the tables are exposed also to one lake, but here in this case, you don't have to set up intermediate resources. Microsoft managed this for you. Now, what is important is that first thing you see some pricing. Now, the first current option is least expensive and the option proposed to migrate existing customer is slightly more expensive. The transformation from CSV to SQL is done by BF for Dynamics using Synapse Serverless as we have it now. 
Of course, the source is different and we have to redesign this part. Now, when the Microsoft services are providing you this transformation, they provide you transformation from Delta per key format, from CSV to Delta per key format, which are SQL readable files. And that means that in one link you get link which you can use for further transformation. Because many customers are using Power BI Desktop to do the modeling for your BI project. We of course still do the data warehousing with our BI for Dynamics data warehouse solution that includes semantic layer which is way more performant than manually developing a model in Power BI Desktop. Last, the most expensive solution, but also most comfortable solution is linked to Fabric, where you select the table and just link the one lake, set up the link to one lake, which is providing you simply to say a replica of your FNO tables. You just get a replica in SQL readable format. Now, technically this is the best, but unfortunately this is the most expensive solution and it's for many customers prohibitively expensive. Currently, we are migrating existing customers to Synapse Link with the Synapse uh, serverless engine that does the transformation. And of course, we are going to support also these options in October. These options are going to be supported with new BF for dynamic SaaS solution. Now, what we have to mention here is that all the discussion in BF in Dynamics channel are about how to get data out. This is actually ETL, Extract, Transform and Load, which actually, to be true, doesn't add a lot of value in terms of transformation, but just makes transformation possible to start with. Because we cannot, of course, directly connect to finance and operation, we have to have some interface. So, this is also Microsoft's focus, is to get the data out. Now, we should remind everyone that actually this is only, in a good day, 10% of data transformation value, and unfortunately, it's currently 90% of the focus, because of course the changes that are new are in this area. We should not forget that the real value for a business user is a transformation, that can be done with Power BI Desktop or what we have with BFO Dynamics solution. Unfortunately, this is not so much in the focus, not for BFO Dynamics because we provide the same solution as before in this last 10 years. However, in general, uh, general um, message on the market is, or at least maybe from Microsoft is, oh, now you have a one take SQL endpoint and this is it. And now you can do the modeling. My friends, modeling is the key. This is a very, very difficult part. And that's where the added value is. Getting data out of finance and operation is a necessary task to do, not adding a lot of value, troubles, yes, cost, perhaps, but real transformation happens after that. Just a reminder that this is what the business users are uh, happy about data transformation beyond ETL process. Uh, BFO Dynamics offers end-to-end -end transformation to existing clients, and we are going to invite you to one-on-one -on -one session to plan the migration activities. And uh, the same solution is, of course, available also for a new client where we start a project with the desktop solution hosted on Azure Virtual Machine and analysis services of choice. This is it for now. Uh, we are organized for existing client one-on-one -on -one session to discuss migration path activities. The good news is that majority of the th activities are technical, are going to be provided with BFO Dynamics and uh, we will also do the thorough uh, testing of existing solution. Because, uh, let me just give a high level view. We will have one project, existing project that is based on uh, data lake. And this data lake has semantic layer or tabular database in Azure Analysis Services or in Power BI Prime, doesn't matter. 
Then we are going to create a new instance on existing a virtual machine for smaller clients or on a new virtual machine where there are uh, more data and process the data end-to-end. -end. Now the data from both sources must match. So we have in place data validation process which will for sure uh, check and validate the data of most important transactional and dimensional table. It's less likely there will be some discrepancy in the model. Once this is done, and this is all our job, we are going to uh, no longer use the second instance with semantic layer, and we are just going to move the data from tabular database that was uh, having a second instance into the existing instance so we are going to use the instance that's getting data from export to data lake the, the the analytical part is going to get data from a new data warehouse so that users will keep all the reports power bi or excel reports connected as they are and also that you don't have to set up permissions again because if you're a larger organization, you might have spent quite some time also figuring out the permissions because the end result is the same. So actually you are saying we are going to pay for something that will not bring any added value. In theory, yes, the data and the reports that you have now <laughs> will also be later. However, the source of this data is no longer supported, so the underlying platform has to be changed. Agree? Not a lot of added value for business users. A part of that you can still use analytics. We'll organize one-on-one -on -one session. We'll invite you to some Q&A and uh, hopefully everything will go fine in this summer. Thank you for the session and uh, see you soon.